This video lesson is part of my video course that teaches how to build transactional, event-driven microservices with Spring Boot and Axon framework. For other video lessons in this playlist, please check description of this video below. Now, let's have a look at orchestration-based saga. In the orchestration-based saga, you will have a microservice that, additionally to other classes, will also contain saga class. And this saga class will act as an orchestrator or as a manager of commands that need to be sent. Let's consider an example. Our order microservice receives an HTTP request to create a new order. It will create a new order and it will publish an event that the new order has been created. Our saga will consume this event and will publish a command to reserve product in stock. Because products microservice will be subscribed to receive the reserve product command, it will consume it, it will process it, and will publish a product reserved event. Because our saga works as a manager of the flow, it will be saga to consume the product reserved event and to publish a new command. So saga will consume this event and will publish a process payment command. Because a payment microservice is subscribed to receive the process payment command, it will consume it, process payment, and if all is good, it will publish the payment processed event. At this step, an order can be marked as approved and a new process can be started to request order shipment. Depending on how you design your application, it could be a new saga or just a few more steps in the existing saga. For example, the current saga can consume the payment processed event and it will publish the create shipment ticket command. Shipment microservice will consume the create shipment ticket command, will process it, and if all is good, it will publish a shipment ticket created event. Saga will consume the shipment ticket created event and will publish a proof order command. And this time it will be a handler class in the orders microservice to consume this command and mark the order as approved in the orders database. And if order is successfully approved, an order approved event will be published. Now, this was a happy path. Let's see how an orchestration based Saga works when an error takes place. Let's assume that payment microservice was not able to verify user payment details and was not able to charge user for the selected product. Because the payment has failed, we cannot continue further and we cannot ship the product. And we cannot just exit the flow because the product has been marked as reserved in our database. If we exit the flow now, the product will remain reserved and other customers will not be able to purchase it. Since transaction is not successful, we need to roll back changes that were done in this flow by initiating a sequence of compensating events. And compensating events are actions that we need to do to undo changes in our system that were made during previous steps in this transaction. And remember that compensating events, they need to be performed in a reverse order. So the first event that we need to look at is product reserved event. This event has changed the status of our product in a database from available to reserved. So we need to perform a compensating transaction to update the status of this product back to available. And to do that, the payment service will first publish an event called card authorization failed event. Saga will consume this event and will publish cancel product reservation command. Products microservice will consume the cancel product reservation command will update product state back to be available and will publish product reservation cancelled event. Saga will consume this event and will publish the reject order command. Orders microservice will consume the reject order command and will update the database by changing the status of this order from opened to rejected. I'm sure you get an idea of how it works. Just keep in mind that your system might have very different business processes and requirements so the steps in your saga might be very different. And keep in mind that saga is a manager of business processes that need to be performed within a single transaction. To initiate the process, saga will publish a new command, microservice will consume this command, process it, and will publish an event. Saga will consume that event and will decide what to do next. It can either end saga or continue to the next process in the flow by publishing a new command. 